The people most affected by climate change are and will be those living in developing countries, mainly the tropics, specifically I think the semi-arid tropics and within those regions it will be mainly the poor that are most affected because they lack obviously a access to technology and knowledge and management skills. Now if we home it down a bit more to the most vulnerable people in those areas it'll probably be those in small islands because of sea level rise and because of their sort of geographic marginalization. Those living in other low-lying areas such as Bangladesh, those living really in parts of Africa that we know are most likely to see decreases in rainfall, North, Northern Africa and Southern Africa uh, specifically. Central America may also dry, that will also become stressed, but that's not a dry area at present. So there are my sort of short list of the areas most likely to be affected. The twin weapons, as it were, to meet climate change. One is reducing emissions, we call mitigation, and the second is adapting. And often these are taken separately, but I think it's important to take them together. What we need most clearly is very strong action to reduce emissions or very strong mitigation. Taking action almost immediately, there's a meeting in Copenhagen at the end of this year, 2009, where we hope there will be a decision for immediate strong action to reduce emissions and that will enable us to avoid exceeding the limits of our adaptive capacity. But secondly, there is a lot that we can adapt to and we should have started adapting now. That is improving our resilience in agriculture such as irrigation and crop development, developing uh, sea defences and improving water, water supplies. There is a lot that we can adapt to, but a lot of the emphasis has been on mitigation and not enough on adaptation so far. This year, at Copenhagen, at the Conference of the Parties of the so-called UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC, we must have an immediate and strong international agreement to reduce emissions. They're at the moment increasing at 3% a year. We need them to level off within five years by 2015 and then come down by 3% a year. Year on year on year for the next 40 or 50 years then we know we've limited climate change to what we can adapt to. It's within the realm of adaptive capacity but that needs huge political le leadership. We haven't seen this leadership so far We've got to get it this December 2009 in Copenhagen.